Ушли и морда. Well, what a splash the UFC makes every time we come to the United Kingdom. If you want to see the UFC live in London, you better buy tickets within five minutes of them going on sale or you're going to be in soccer. You're going to be standing outside hoping to be inside the arena. All the way back to UFC 75 champion versus champion. Rampage versus Dan Hems the UFC has brought fights that have blown the roof off the O2 arena. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. There's a jab, then another. Able to check the high kick. Effective punch there by Lee. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Nice head kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice head kick. Good punch, Lance. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Another head kick. That is how you scramble, folks. Wow. Lee gets caught by that straight hand. Just over three minutes to go. Can't take many of those. You better check. Get blocked, though, by Lee. Nice right hand. Nice leg kick land. They continue to exchange. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. He lands a switch key. Nice punch lands over the top. Battling for hooks. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Big kick lands. And that left hook landed on the button. He's back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Oh man, head kick lands. What a punch. A little single collar tie there. And they separate. Well done to block that powerful kick to the boss. Flush right hand is true. Oh, nice. Submission defense there. Nice strike. Nice. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, a huge block there. Oh, collar tie. Big kick. Keeping busy here in the clinch. He is all about that left kick to the body. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Trying to double up on that jab. Straight punch lands. Oh, a double jab again. I'm not sure if the nose is broken. It ain't gonna feel good in the morning, I can assure you. If that. it's not broken, he takes many more of these. It will be broken. Move the head. 
Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Bleeding from his cheek now. He's got the single collar tie. See, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Second round, straight ahead. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead, and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their toll. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Good punch. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, high level stuff as he counters with that right hand. Big kick land. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big head kick lands. Good knee to the body there by Lee. Beautiful strike. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And here he is back in familiar territory in the clutch. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And they separate. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Oh, he lands another strike to his opponent's liver. There continue to be openings there. He targeted it effectively earlier in the fight, and the defense hasn't prevented him from doing so. If it's not broken, no need to fix it. Just over three minutes now to go. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Hook shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by Lee. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. He's got to be careful dipping his head and throwing that jab. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Head kick. Caught that kick there. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Nice. Back and forth we go! Right hand on point. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Blocks the shot. Big head kick lands. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Lee's cut is getting worse. The cut man chopping at the bit to get in there. He'll have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. What a fun. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Got him whip his hip into that kick. All right, single collar tie now. Nice one, two there. Oh, 
All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly draining at the gas tank of your opponent. Big leg kick land. Hands high, hands high. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Big straight left. Looked like a good knee to the body, but it's blocked. He loaded up on that right hand too. And they separate. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Entering in on a single leg takedown attempt here, and he is able to get the fight where he wants it. Nice job. The moment he secures that single leg, you can see how comfortable he is and the variety of finishes he has from this position. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Nice defense there, huge block. Counters now left hook to the head lands. And that is a serious cut. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Lee gets caught with that punch. Single collar tie now. The left punch is true, now the right hand. Nice straight right lands. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. And they separate. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Oh, single collar tie here. Lee gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Right hand punch from the clinch. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Just unable to quite find that wrench. Way to hide that leg kick. And he switches his stance yet again. Real sneaky body kick. Left hand punch from the clinch. And able to land a nice shot there on the inside. Another beautiful takedown there. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on it. Attacking armbar. Oh, he picks him up and slams him down. Big explosive slam to lift him and slam him out of that armbar. Go right into side control. Now let's see what he does, right? Sometimes when you do that, the choke or the yes. submission can get tighter, but he was able to evade it there. Yes. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. <laughs> All right, working inside the closed guard now. All right, so
you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Man, look at his torso. That just can't feel good. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. And you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that area. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw the deck with the right time. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, knee to the head. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Big kick lands. Oh, and he lands yet another jab. Hey, it pays to be the longer fighter. Big leg kick land. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big punch land through the middle. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into position where he can get off the strikes. All right, what a round it was for him. A lot of head kicks landed, scrambled eggs on the other side. We'll see if he can recover. He does a great job of hiding it. He gives you no tell. He doesn't show you when he's coming. That's why those kicks have continued to land, even though he's done it multiple times. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets on. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. you got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that one. And a miss with the right hook. Big kick lands. Lands the double jab. Back and forth we go. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, collar tie. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to feed up the inside thigh. That's the technique you use to really slow down your opponent. And they separate. Powerful leg kick land. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got the single collar tie. And they separate. Just misses with the punch by Lee. Chin down, hands up. Real quick leg kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Just over three minutes to go. Let's go, we gotta do something, hit him. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Takedown defense holds up. What a body kick. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. He's going after the head. Well-placed kick there by Lee. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice body kick right under the open. Oh, beautiful one-two punch. 
All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here, champ. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is going to take advantage of it? Nice kick. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Check it, check it, check it. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to ring. Ooh, knee to the head. That never feels good. Left hand punch with the clinch. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Looking to land the leg kick now. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. When you're in the clinch, you go to the body. That's an investment. You keep on putting that money away with every single body shot. True on the double leg. Under a minute to go. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. And he that comes knee, through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. Top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think he's going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Trying to stay in this fight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, well, that's a good right hand. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, you can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming, or he will batter and cruise you with that single strike. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent can react. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him today. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. Lost the strike and now throw an offense, countering with the hook. Nice job by Lee. All right, single collar tie now. Massive knee lands to the tie clinch. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in <laughs> Tom Brady. Stop it. John, <laughs> stop it. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. There's no give on that leg kick. He lands a big knee to the spot. Back and forth we go. Oh, just missed on the overhand left. That might have done some damage. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end of this fight. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. 
Less than three minutes to go now in this fifth and final round. Single collar tie now. Beautiful kick. Blocks that kick to the body. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances, a lot of motions in here that maybe are lost on the casual fan. Absolutely, and it's gonna be the underhook. For all the things that happen in this position, the person winning and controlling the underhook battle is the one out ahead. He blocks the punch. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Ground and pound strike there now. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Lee's cut on his cheek is nasty, leaky, leaky. That thing is leaking bad now. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. His work, I'm gonna stand this up. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. One minute to go in the fight. Oh, a single collar tie here. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, big shot lands. Nice head kick. Yeah, he's fixing it all up. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Nice connection on the counter punch there. And oftentimes, DC, it can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge in reach. Jockey in for position in the clinch. Oh! Big knee to the body. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. All right, so a close fight goes the distance here tonight, DC. I know you're not a judge, but any lean to one fighter or the other? I mean, when I watch the fight, I believe that he did enough. But when these fights are this close, it's razor, razor thin. You don't know what the judges are seeing. I think he did enough. I think it was the striking advantage that he showed that should get him the victory. But we shall see. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest, 48-47, Assassin. Judge two scores it, 48-47, Lee. And judge three scores it, 48-47, for the winner by split decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, so there it is. Two of the three judges saw it his way. He gets it done by split decision. You've never won a split decision in your career. Oh, I've won a split decision. Alexander Gustafson and while I went to a split decision. Right after the first scorecard was read in his way, I almost panicked because I was like, oh my goodness, it's over. So I understand exactly what these two guys are feeling when they went to the center of the octagon.